Blessed morning, church. Money is not a sure indicator of success. In the book of Mark chapter 14, verse 10. Mark chapter 14, verse 10. The Bible reads, Then Judah Iscariot, one of the twelve, went to the chief priest to betray him to them. Verse 11. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. So he sought how he might conveniently betray him. Our worst mistake is often to think that the prosperity and riches we receive are a blessing from God. But they can be a sign that we are drifting away from Him. You know, the above scriptures explain Judah's motivation to betray Jesus as a result of his satanic craving, his love for money, and his greed. The plan of Judah Iscariot was successful. We can learn from this that wealth is not a sure measure of success in God's eyes. Amen. I say it again. The success of wealth is not a sure measure of success, which is right in the eyes of God. Therefore, when we ask God for the provisions and open doors for opportunity, it is essential that we seek God's wisdom and see that the open doors will lead us closer to Him. The point I want to make here is never to trust our own assumptions that everything will go smoothly with us when we make lots of money. The amount Judas received turned out to be enough to buy a few. It was too poor a sum for Judas to accept in exchange for his soul. I pray that God will keep our hearts open to the leading of the Holy Spirit so that all temporary success and satisfaction will not pull us away from what God is calling us to do and cause us to drift away from our faith in Him. Amen? Stay focused, stay firm, stay faithful. God bless and Shalom.